ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ फोर्टीन ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन योर बॉडीज हैव नाउ बिकम कम्प्लीटली ओल्ड The Father has come to make your bodies as immortal as the Kalpa tree. You will become immortal for half a cycle. Question: Which aspect of this wonderful play is well worth understanding? Answer. only once at this time can you see the faces of all the actors of this play you will see those same faces after 5000 years there will be 84 faces of 84 births and each one of them will be different even the accents of one cannot be the same as another's whatever accents are are performed those accents will be repeated after 5000 years these aspects are really worth understanding now that the locks on the intellects of you children have opened You can explain these secrets to everyone. Song The innocent lord is unique. Om Shanti Only Shiv Baba is called the innocent lord. Shankar cannot be called that. He destroys whereas Shiv Baba creates It is definitely heaven that is created and hell that is destroyed Therefore only Shiv Baba can be called the innocent lord the ocean of knowledge you children are now experienced surely se baba must have come in the previous cycle and he has definitely come now he definitely has to come because he has to create the human world anew he has to tell you the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of this drama and so he definitely has to come here he cannot tell you in this subtle region the language of the subtle region is different and there is no language in the incorporeal world here it is a talky sib baba is the one who reforms that which has been spoiled god the one who grants salvation to all says i have to come when the world becomes tamo pradhan his memorials are also here the faces of every human being in this play can only be seen once even the faces of lakshmi and narayan cannot be seen anywhere 
other than in the golden age when they take rebirth their names and forms will be different once you have seen the forms of lakshmi and narayan you will not see those same forms again for another 5000 years just as you will only see the exact same face of gandhi after 5000 years there are countless human beings only after 5000 years will you again see the faces of the human beings that you see now there will be 84 faces of 84 birds and each one of them will be different even the essence of one cannot be the same as another's whatever essence one performs those same actions will be repeated after 5000 years these aspects are well worth understanding there is the image of baba you understand that he must definitely have come first to create the world now that the locks on your intellects have opened you can understand you now also have to open the locks of others in this way the incorporeal father must surely reside in the supreme abode you all also reside there with me when i first come brahma vishnu and shankar are with me the human world already exist so how does it turn and how does it repeat the subtle reason has to be created first and then he has to come into the physical world because the human beings who are to become deities have now become sudras they first have to become brahmins and then be made into deities so i repeat the knowledge that i gave you in the previous cycle it is at this time that i sit and teach raj yoga then after half a cycle devotion begins the father himself sits here and explains how the old world becomes new and how at the end it it starts again at the beginning people understand that the supreme soul came but they do not know when or how he came they don't know how he revealed the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end the father says i have come personally to grant you salvation maya ravan has spoiled everyone's fortune so someone is definitely needed to reform that which has been spoiled the father says i came in the body of brahma 5000 years ago as well the human world is created here 
I come here to change the world and make your bodies as immortal as the kalpa tree. Your bodies have now become totally old. Baba makes them immortal for half a cycle. You change your bodies there, but you do it happily. Because you said one old costume and take on a new one. There, you will not say that so and so has died. It is not called death there. Similarly, you have died alive here. It is not that you have really died, but that you have made yourself belong to Sib Baba. Baba says you are the lights of my eyes, the long lost and now found children. Sib Baba says this and Brahma Baba also says this. That one is the incorporeal father and this one is the corporeal father. You also say, Baba, you are the same one and we are the same children who have come to meet you again. The father says, I come and establishes heaven. You definitely need a kingdom. And so I teach you Raj Yoga. You will receive the kingdom at the end. There will then be no need for this knowledge. All of those scriptures etc. will be useful on the path of devotion. People will continue to study them. Just as when an important person writes the history and geography of somewhere, others continue to read it. There are innumerable books. People continue to read them. There will be nothing like that in heaven. There, there will only be one language. So Baba says, I have come to renew the world. Previously, it was new and it has now become old. Maya has burnt all my sons and turned them into asses. They show them as the children of King Sagar. Brackets the ocean. That is correct. Because you are the children of the ocean of knowledge. He truly is the ocean of knowledge. In fact, all are his children, but it is you who are remembered in the practical form. It is because of you that the father comes. He says, I have come to make you children conscious again. I come once again to make those who have become totally ugly and with stone intellects into those with divine intellects. You understand how your intellects are made divine with this knowledge. When your intellects become divine, 
this world will also change from the land of stone into the land of divinity baba continues to inspire you to make effort for this so baba would definitely have to come here to create the human world he creates the mouth born progeny through the one whose body he enters so this one becomes the mother this is such a deep aspect he is a male so the idea of him becoming the mother when baba enters him will definitely confuse people you prove it by showing this mother and father brahma and saraswati both sitting beneath the kalpa tree and studying raj yoga so they definitely need a guru brahma saraswati and all the children are known as raj rishis you have yoga in order to claim the kingdom the father comes and teaches raj yoga and knowledge which no one else can teach others do not practice raj yoga they simply say study yoga there are various types of hatha yoga no one else can teach raj yoga god came and taught raj yoga he says i have to come every cycle when it is the time to create the human world anew there is never total annihilation if annihilation took place whom would i enter what would the incorporeal one come and do the father explains the world already exists the devotees also exist they call out to god this proves that there are devotees as well god has to come at the end of the iron age when all the devotees are very unhappy i have to come when the kingdom of ravan is about to end everyone is definitely unhappy at this time the mahabharat war is standing ahead this is a school here there is an aim and objective you understand that there was the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan in the golden age then came the kingdom of those with a single crown later there was expansion of other religions then in order for the kingdoms to increase there were wars etc you understand that whatever has passed will repeat again the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan will then begin baba explains all the secrets of the history and geography of the world there is no need to go into detail you understand that you who belong to the sun dynasty will definitely take rebirth in the sun dynasty your names and forms 
will change and you will also have different mothers and fathers you have to keep this entire drama in your intellects you have now understood how the father comes people have the knowledge of that old gita in their intellects previously we do had the knowledge of that old gita in our intellects now after hearing such deep aspects we have come to understand the whole significance of everything people also say that previously your knowledge was different and that it is now very good you have now understood how to live in your households and yet remain like a lotus this is the last birth of everyone everyone has to die the unlimited father himself says promise that you will stay pure and you will then become the masters of heaven for 21 births here even though somewhat may be a millionaire he would still be unhappy his body is not pure your body is become pure you do not die for 21 births the father says those who come here are the ones who belonged to the sun dynasty and the moon dynasties they became ugly by sitting on the pyre of lust that is why radhe krishna and narayan have been portrayed as ugly now everyone has become ugly they became ugly by sitting on the pyre of lust you now have to get off the pyre of lust and sit on the pyre of knowledge cancel the bond of poison and tie a bond of the nectar of knowledge explain in such a way that people say that you are carrying out an auspicious task anyone who is a kumari or a kumar cannot be called impure the father says you should never become dirty it's time goes by countless people will come they will say that this is very good by sitting on the pyre of knowledge we will become the masters of heaven mostly it is brahmin priest who arrange marriages the kings also keep brahmin priest they are called rajgurus brackets gurus of the kingdom nowadays even sanyasis tie bonds when you tell people such things of knowledge they become very happy they instantly have a rakhi tied then there is also quarreling at home you definitely have to tolerate a little you are the incognito sakti army you don't carry any weapons the goddesses 
have been portrayed holding many weapons. However, all of those aspects are of knowledge. Here, these aspects are the power of yoga. You claim the kingdom of the world with the power of yoga. Only limited kingdoms are taken with physical power. Only the unlimited master can give the unlimited kingdom. There is no question of a war in this. The father says, How can I instigate a war? I have come to put an end to fighting and quarreling so that not even a trace of that remains. This is why everyone remembers the Supreme Soul. He says, Maintain my honor. When they have no faith in the one, others catch hold of them. Although they say that God is also in them, they still don't have that faith in themselves. And so they adopt gurus. If God is in you, why should you need to adopt a guru? Here, this is unique. The father says, I came in the previous cycle the same way as I have come now. You now understand how the father, the creator, sits and creates the creation. This too is in the drama. How could you understand what is going to happen in the future unless you have understood this cycle? It is said that this is the field of action. We have come from the incorporeal world in order to play our parts. Therefore, we should know the creator and the director of the whole drama. We actors have come to know how this drama is created and how expansion of this world takes place. Since it is now the end of the Iron Age, the golden age surely has to be created. The explanation of the cycle is absolutely accurate. Those who belong to the Brahmin clan will understand. This one is Prajapita and so our clan will continue to grow. It has to grow. Everyone continues to make effort as they did in the previous cycle and observe everything with detachment. Each of you should examine your face in your mirror and ask yourself to what extent you have become worthy of claiming a kingdom in the golden age. This is a game of every cycle. Depending on the service each one of you does. You are spiritual, unlimited social workers. You follow the directions of the Supreme Spirit. Continue to imbibe such beautiful points. 
the father comes and frees you from the jaws of death there is no mention of death there this is a land of death and that is a land of immortality in this land there is sorrow from the beginning through middle to end whereas in that land there is no trace of sorrow acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 we are the lights of the eyes the long lost and now found children of both the incorporeal and corporeal fathers maintain the intoxication of having become se baba's heirs while alive second claim the kingdom of the world with the power of yoga since you have had a rakhi tied for purity you have to tolerate a little don't ever become impure blessing may you be an embodiment of happiness while living in this world of sorrow by remaining aware of the father the ocean of happiness constantly remain aware of the father the ocean of happiness and you will become an embodiment of happiness no matter how much influence there is of sorrow and peacelessness in the world you must stay detached and loving you are with the ocean of happiness and you are therefore constantly happy swinging in the swing of happiness you children who are master oceans of happiness cannot have any thoughts of sorrow because you have stepped away from the world of sorrow and come into the confluence age all strings have been broken and so you continue to move along in the waves of the ocean of happiness slogan to stabilize your mind and intellect in one powerful stage is to be in solitude slogan to stabilize your mind and intellect in one powerful stage is to be in solitude om shanti